Another day, another Starship update, and this one is truly mind-blowing. Hold on tight as SpaceX gears up for the next super heavy static fire, setting the stage for an exhilarating event. But that's not all. In just a few days, they've accomplished more than we could have imagined. Multiple systems put to the test, prototypes moving around, and the impressive SPM transporters shuttling back and forth. It's a hive of activity like never before. Curious to see what's next? Join us as we explore this thrilling space filled to the brim with groundbreaking milestones. Let's go! Are you ready to step into the mesmerizing world of SpaceX as we unveil the thrilling developments surrounding the water-cooled steel plate? This remarkable plate is a game-changer, specifically engineered to withstand the incredible heat generated by a whopping 33 Raptor engines during liftoff. Just imagine the sheer intensity of that kind of power. And if successful, this breakthrough concept could revolutionize the very essence of how launch pads are designed and constructed. It has the potential to redefine the boundaries of space exploration as we know it. Recently, we were treated to breathtaking aerial shots that gave us a glimpse of the intricate pieces already in place for this extraordinary system. It was evident that the team at SpaceX was sparing no effort to bring this ambitious vision to life. The excitement was palpable as they embarked on a series of critical tests, bringing us one step closer to witnessing history in the making. Then came the eagerly awaited moment, the basic purge tests. The anticipation was intense as everyone held their breath, waiting for the first signs of water flowing through the system. The tension was tangible as Mechazilla's arms were raised, signaling the beginning of an exhilarating sequence. And suddenly, water burst forth from an array of hundreds, if not thousands, of tiny holes on the plate's surface. It was a sight to behold, a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The implications of this successful test are nothing short of awe-inspiring. Can you believe how astonishing a static fire or a launch will look with this groundbreaking system in action? The possibilities are endless. But here's the real kicker. This initial test was merely a glimpse of the plate's capabilities. It was running at only half, or maybe even just a third of its full power. The true potential of this cutting-edge technology is yet to be fully unleashed, promising even more jaw-dropping spectacles in the future. As we scrutinized the test further, it became apparent that the water release came from valves positioned on top of two substantial tanks, possibly sourced from a single pipe connected to the medium-sized plate. This discovery implies that the system has a substantial reserve of power, ready to be harnessed for more ambitious endeavors. It's like a wellspring of energy waiting to be tapped into, fueling our excitement for what's yet to come. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility. During this test, the water flowed freely without any evident collection system. To conduct more frequent and extended tests, SpaceX might need a booster to manage the surplus water effectively, but given the spirit of innovation that defines the company, it's only a minor obstacle in the grand scheme of things. Challenges like this are meant to be conquered, and the brilliant minds at SpaceX are more than capable of rising to the occasion. The stage is now set for a full throttle test, where the system's limits will be pushed to ensure its design is rock solid and flawless. Every step of the journey is crucial, and SpaceX is leaving no stone unturned in their relentless pursuit of perfection. The countdown to this momentous event has begun, and the world is eagerly awaiting the next chapter in this extraordinary voyage. To prepare for the next monumental step in SpaceX's awe-inspiring journey, workers have taken on a crucial task at Starbase. They've rolled up their sleeves and are hard at work, carefully removing some of the scaffolding that was previously visible on one of the orbital launch mount's sturdy legs. This meticulous process is vital in ensuring that the intense pressure generated by the system's 33 powerful Raptor engines at liftoff won't cause any structural mishaps. The safety of this groundbreaking endeavor is of utmost importance, and every precaution is being taken to make sure that the stage is set for success. But that's not all that's been brewing at Starbase. The excitement reaches a fever pitch as we delve into another key component of the orbital launch mount that has recently undergone testing. Brace yourself for this. On the evening of July 18th, as the world watched with bated breath, the orbital tank farm sprang back to life, 
sending enchanting clouds of nitrogen billowing into the sky. It was a sight to behold, and the atmosphere was electrified with the promise of greatness to come. Notably, venting was spotted from the ship's quick disconnect arm, a tantalizing sign that this critical piece of equipment was being put through its paces after the orbital test flight. The anticipation was palpable, and we couldn't wait to see what was next in store for the grand stage of space exploration. And the excitement didn't stop there. The FireX system took center stage, unleashing its immense power in a short but captivating display. During the early testing stages of the orbital launch mount, static fires presented significant risks, as if the launch complex had a penchant for spontaneous combustion. The potential danger not only slowed down testing operations, but also posed challenges in securing the vehicle and reopening the road after testing. The FireX system was the ingenious solution, an extra ring installed beneath the launch deck, an enormous fire extinguisher that expertly combines nitrogen and water. This ingenious addition played a pivotal role in enabling rapid testing operations at Starbase, a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. The risk had been mitigated, and a new era of possibilities was born. As the teams at Starbase prepare for the next series of groundbreaking events, they're leaving no stone unturned in their quest for excellence. One significant aspect is the preparation of the launch mount itself, as they gear up to lay down the final layer of Fondag. This additional layer will provide added protection to the mount space, ensuring that it's ready to handle the intense power of the upcoming tests and launches. The level of precision and attention to detail is awe-inspiring, reflecting SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. And if you think the excitement ends there, hold on to your seats, because the action continues to unfold at a breathtaking pace. Not far from the launch pad, at the production site located just 3.2 kilometers, or two freedom miles away, lies the highly anticipated prototype itself, Booster 9. As we eagerly await its debut, our anticipation grows with every passing moment. Recent developments have been tantalizing, as a pair of SPM transporters gracefully carried the prototype on their broad shoulders, making their way down the ring yard. But here's the twist Booster 9 took an unexpected detour, ending up at the rocket garden instead of proceeding directly to the launch site. The mystery deepens, leaving us on the edge of our seats, wondering what surprises await us. As we gaze upon Booster 9, we can't help but marvel at the significant modifications it has undergone. The most striking transformation is the installation of 33 Raptor engines, each meticulously shielded and protected with a redesigned covering, a testament to the dedication to safety and efficiency. Elon Musk's vision for enhanced engine shielding has become a reality, setting the stage for extraordinary feats in the future. As we move upwards, our curiosity is piqued by a ring of small vents delicately welded to the aft section of the booster. Their purpose remains enigmatic, leaving us to wonder about their role in the grand symphony of space exploration. The puzzle unfolds, and the thrill of discovery fills the air. As we eagerly await the momentous event of Booster 9's debut, workers have been meticulously inspecting the recent installation of a Piper tank. The anticipation was palpable, but it turned out to be a bit of a non-event as an aerodynamic shroud obscured the entire assembly, leaving us craving for answers. The mystery remains, and it seems we'll have to wait for another day to unravel its secrets. But fret not, for we're hopeful that Booster 9's brief stay in the Rocket Garden will come to an end soon, as the launch site is approaching the completion of its final certification tests. The countdown is on. In the meantime, there's a fascinating buzz surrounding a new tank standing tall in the ring yard. Its construction is refreshingly straightforward, featuring an aft ring, a payload bay, and a peculiar ring with 24 holes, sparking lively debates about its purpose. Initially, thought to be part of a Starship Lunar Lander mock-up or a critical component for hot staging, these theories have lost traction. Instead, the top ring is equipped with a specialized plate designed to connect it to the nose cone cage, simulating the forces a starship will face at max Q. But the ultimate function of this upper ring remains an intriguing puzzle. Some propose it could serve as a tie point for ropes, providing additional compression force during testing. While the theory is compelling, we're all on the edge of our seats, eagerly waiting to see what the truth holds. Time will tell, and the anticipation is exhilarating. 
Now let's venture to the former shooting range turned test site, known as Massey's. Here, the contender for the third Starship flight, Booster 10, takes center stage. The prototype is stationed at the new Booster Cryo stand, connected to the ground support equipment, setting the stage for exciting testing ahead. The tests are already underway, with the prototype filled with liquid nitrogen, and so far, everything appears to be going smoothly. Positioned nearby is a component of the future booster Puck Shucker, an ingenious contraption that will emulate the thrust of up to 33 Raptor engines. This cutting-edge test stand allows for prolonged cryogenic tests without obstructing access to the launch site. It's a brilliant example of SpaceX's ingenuity, finding solutions that balance efficiency and progress. But the intrigue doesn't end there. On the evening of July 19th, an enigmatic development unfolded as the ship test stand at Massey's was dismantled, placed on a self-propelled modular transporter, SPMT, and swiftly transported away. Minutes later, the stand was spotted on Highway 4, with its destination being the build site. The plot thickens as we anticipate that a ship prototype, possibly Ship 27 or 28, will be mounted on this test stand. After thorough testing, the entire assembly is expected to return to Massey's for further trials. This unconventional approach serves a practical purpose, as the current Massey's site lacks a crane capable of hoisting a complete ship or booster. SpaceX's innovative workaround leaves us in awe of their problem-solving prowess. The anticipation continues to build as we await the next steps in this breathtaking journey. Which prototype will be tested at Massey's next? Ship 27? 28? Or could it be a wild card? The possibilities are endless, and the adventure is just beginning. Stay tuned as SpaceX pushes the boundaries of space exploration, and the cosmos becomes our playground. The future has never looked brighter. So, are you excited for Starship's next launch? Will it be successful or not? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.